from our index case on the 27th of February. We were able to contain that case completely. There was only one transmission from that Italian gentleman. We stopped that episode of the virus actually entering into community. So that became a dead-end infection. When the first patient came in, it was wholly staff of Mainland Hospital that actually treated him. And none of us were afraid because we knew what to do. And that demonstrates the efficiency of the operational capacity of Lagos State. No, no, Korea does not exist. I don't think COVID-19 19 is real here in Nigeria. They feel there is not there is no coronavirus and then they go about and do whatever they like. Somehow it's not a scam, somehow it looks like. It's funny if anybody would say it's a scam. If it's a scam, how could it have held down the whole world? People will still come with their own prejudices and with their own mindset and say, no, it's, it's not possible. You know, where are ring fence for this one? It's something for Ikoya and Victoria Island, you know, and this other local government were out of it, it were immune. A situation where somebody is gasping for life or dehydrating to death. Some people who've not experienced it don't know the magnitude of the problem. If this outbreak goes to 10,000 best case scenario, ah, it'll be a serious and crisis. Ten percent of them need ventilatory support of oh. some form or the other. That means I'm going to have 1,000 people who need oxygenated support. And when you have a volume of a certain kind of condition that you don't have capacity to treat, you have to make some ethical, hard ethical decisions. To the glory of God, we're commissioning the Etiosa Isolation Center landmark. We're actually good to go live you know, at this facility. All of the amenities that have been provided, it's really to get our patient in here and get well and come out. Um, everything that you require of a first class isolation ward. I always want to render services to patients. It's a passion I have. If it involves my people coming and they are infected, will I run away from them? Who will care for them if I don't do it? There is accommodation for us. In case we catch the infection, we don't take it home. Because the truth is that some of us are, are going to catch it. Government also organized insurance scheme for the health workers, including a special allowance for being involved in the management of COVID-19 patients. No amount is too much that can be equal to an individual's life. All we are doing here is the service to humanity to make sure that this war is over and then everybody in the country can get back to their normal lives. Health authorities have revealed that community transmission is the reason behind the surge in COVID-19 cases in the country. The Lagos state government has set up testing centers in all local government areas of the state. It's not an ordinary test you can do anywhere. If you're not careful, you will infect the person who is doing the test. We have NASA collection and we have aura. At the same time, we have sputum collection, which we are going to produce inside sputum cup. So if you are not well trained to go into that region of nose to pick sample, because you have to make yourself a patient comfortable. I remember there was a time a friend of mine sent me a message that let me prepare your mind. Though that test is very painful. You know, so I got scared. I was supposed to be part of the first people to take the test. I had to run away first. So later I summoned the courage and I came down. We've got a limited number of testing capacity by virtue of the limited number of reference laboratories, the limited number of people who have the right expertise to do that test, and the limitation in terms of the numbers of tests that you can run in a day. Before sample collection, 
you have to label, which is very, very important. Because at times, you might find two names with two initials. For example, if you have two Adeoye, A-O. Another person can be Adeoye, A-O. So you have to write out the names in full. And age will play an important role. There is no Adeoye, A-O, the two of them will be at the same age. Name, sex, age, date. They are key factors in sample labeling. When they told us that they are going to run tests on us, we were told that it doesn't take, it's not up to 24 hours. So the first test that came out was 48 hours. With the public saying, well, there are all these rapid tests available, why are you not deploying them? We're not deploying them because they have inherent risks. And a validation process can take up to a month. The federal government has successfully evacuated the first batch of Nigerians struck abroad amid the coronavirus pandemic. It's not a domesticated disease. It's something that is going to be imported by Nigerians that have traveled abroad or by foreigners that are traveling into the country. So what strategy we need to put in place to quickly be able to block the border post and stop the influx? It took a while, you know, before it happened, but it finally happened. A message was sent to us that if you want to evacuate, that we should send our passport details to the embassy. At some point, I was almost losing my mind, sincerely, because I felt, hey, if anything happens to me here, nobody's going to even know. We wanted to know, are we coming back to sort ourselves out, or are we coming back on the government taking care of us? When a patient comes in, from the toothpaste, to the bed sheet, to the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the government has been providing everything. Once you come very early and you commence your, your medication, uh, the chances of you going home alive is almost 100%. How much oxygen? Yeah. What do you want? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to check it today with oxygen. I actually contracted the virus. I went into isolation, I took uh, my medications, and uh, I got well, and I'm back, I'm back to work. The, our challenge is just like the challenges of other countries all over the world. You know, this is a pandemic, so one big challenge is medical supplies, the PPEs generally. All everybody is bearing the brunt globally. You, you easily have shortages, and that is the big thing. Even when you have money, you don't see them to buy. Outside, outside. Yes. 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 No, Once a member of the team is infected, everybody is there, huh? is likely to get infected. Before any health worker enters the isolation ward, you must check your temperature daily. Because if somebody is sick, that person has to stand aside and get tested. One decision I made is that I'm not going to go home because I knew that the risk of contracting the virus is actually very high. So you cough on this one, inside it, then you wait, then you cover it. Huh? <coughs> When the positive cases come in, they will just go this way, okay. to the left, mm -hmm. which is all red. Mm -hmm. The ones that are unknown mm -hmm. go straight in here, mm -hmm. to the right. Then we block off the communication to that side. Many people come in for admission. Many of them say, no, no, I want to drive myself. I don't want your ambulance to come and pick me. I had a patient uh, who was discharged from this place. Whenever they are discharged, we call in the press. You know, so he was covered, and unfortunately, his face was not blotted out properly. In his area where, where he resides, families wouldn't allow their kids to play with his children. I saw uh, unconfirmed stories about me and my family on the local government page. They recorded my brother's case as the first in the local government, which was false, because I was the first, putting my address there. Everybody has a part to play. Don't spread rumors. Don't forward false information because false information is also having an impact. People were calling me and saying they saw my house on TV. She be too often, on a country to country. Now you don't carry corona, come back. 
See, I know what makes two of now come back to area. I've been getting calls from okay. all around here and they've been okay. threatening me and because... It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. COVID-19 has nothing to do with stigma. It is just an infection that will come and go away. COVID could happen to any of us, especially now that we have community trans trans transmission. So what we need is care and support for anybody that have COVID. Very well. Okay. I was well when I came here before anyway. <laughs> is there any complaint? About my about me physically. Your health. My yeah. health, no, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. If twenty five percent of what was done here is being done in the basic health care by the government, less people will die. Now that they couldn't fly out to go and use those facilities they use abroad, I'm sure they will have seen the level of decadence, level of deterioration that is in our health facilities in the country. A lot of people want to live here because there was free food, 24 hours light, internet, air conditioning, everything was just there for us. They were expecting, you know, the kind of hospital that things will be so unbearable. There are two entrances we must have noticed. This is the red zone for confirmed cases. The other entrance is the yellow zone for suspected cases who might be coming in. We can have up to at least four patients here in each of the wards. So on this first floor, we have 56 open wards. Then also we have a space also for the ICU. Monitoring apparatus and various um, equipment put in place. So there's a place here, a gym, proposed gym for them, where they can exercise and keep fit. The experience I'm beginning is being able to plan, implement the various case management um, protocols and um, strategies that have been developed by the state. And then what has been working in Lagos State, we ensure it keeps working in Bagada here. So we keep having that good success that we'll be experiencing over the months in Lagos and even do better. For people out there, they need to know that uh, social distancing is very important. They need to continue to use face masks so that uh, they don't get infection and they don't transmit to, to other people. Hand washing is also very important. You should also do that frequently as much as, as possible. The government is putting out policies. The government is putting out information. The government is putting out guidelines. But if the community do not join hands and synergize with government, then we will not see the true benefit of all these strategies. Let's understand what do you think government health institutions should be doing in the form of advocating self-isolation? You can get infected by rubbing yourself on someone who do, you do not know the health status. We cannot wait for this state to blow over, like in developed countries that say that we have the capacity to hold off for like a month or two months. We're calling out to all well-meaning people, you know, to join government. We cannot certainly handle it all by ourselves.